32, number 22, Wyatt Wollstonehume. Both of these guys are seniors. Another senior, number 55, Martin Winters. A junior, number 11, Parker Brown. And then rounding out this starting lineup for the Braves is going to be another senior for North Summit, number 14, Stockton Richens. And as we mentioned earlier, Braves are coached by Aaron Priest. Number 23, Yosif Salma. Number 24, Jack Dishman. Number 30, Isaiah Adams. Number 14, Boston Ballard. And number three, Trey Provost, as they are in white and green jerseys with green letters and numbers. North Summit wearing the road purples. White letters, white numbers, gold trim on the necks. So we'll now get the game started between these two. A chance to play for fifth and sixth on the line here. Loser is done for the season. As it will be Martin Winters for North Summit and Isaiah Adams for Roland Hall to tip it off. Isaiah Adams and Martin Winters two of the leading rebounders in the state in 2A. And North Summit winning the tip to begin this game as Stockton Richens has the ball. Now Wyatt Wilson Hume with it in the corner. He'll dribble back up and give to Stockton Richens. Stockton Richens picks up his dribble on the wing. Goes over to Parker Brown. Parker Brown driving right side, layup, no good. Rebound Martin Winters. Martin Winters going up strong, gets partially blocked, and then the ball goes out of bounds off of North Summit. B. Roland Hall ball. So we'll see what Roland Hall can do with their first possession as North Summit is in this press. And we saw them do that yesterday against Parowan, but Parowan did such a good job at breaking the press. They really didn't use it as much as they normally do. So Jack Dishman driving inside gives to Isaiah Adams and Roland Hall starts the scoring. Two to zero, 7-17 left in the first quarter. As Stockton Richens drives inside, gets blocked by Adams now, rebounded by Martin Winters. And he's already got two offensive rebounds. Stockton Richens for three, looking to take the lead. And another shot in and out for the Braves. And you said that earlier, yesterday when they were playing, it seemed like they got shots that were going in and then they'd come out. So North Summit inbounding, Brian Rodriguez misses the shot and Roland Hall pushing with Dishman. Dishman going strong to the basket, can't come up with it. And it will be Stockton Richens coming back the other way for North Summit. Stockton Richens down the left side, stops in the corner. And dishes back up to Wyatt. Now Stockton with the ball again. Roland Hall playing man-to-man -man defense. As will be Parker Brown now getting a screen from Brian. Driving down the left side, another layup for Parker Brown and this one goes down. we have seen him go to that move earlier. On the right side, this, uh, this time on the left side, he gets it to go. As Roland Hall breaks this press, Dishman in the corner for three, no good, Martin Winters pulling down the rebound. So we've seen the press now twice on Roland Hall, and it seems like they've been able to break it okay. As there's a foul on Roland Hall. Number three, Trey Provost picking it up. Parker Brown to inbound, gives it to Martin Winters. And back to Parker, but it's intercepted by Provost. And now a foul on the sideline. As Roland Hall was off and running there. And Parker Brown picks up his first. So Yusef Salam to now inbound. And Provost back over to Salam. Provost on the wing, drives in and gets blocked by Martin Winters, gets his own rebound, goes over to Dishman. Dishman corner three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Brian Rodriguez as he's double teamed and gets out of trouble okay. Stockton Richens with the ball now. Guarded by Boston, Boston Ballard. 
As it's Parker Brown now on the wing. Martin Winters, top of the arc, over to Stockton Richens. Closest wing dust down low. Parker Brown, tough shot, couldn't get it to go. And Martin Winters coming up with the rebound again, and a jump ball going to be called. Pestinero pointing to, looks like North Summit. No, excuse me, Roland Hall. So, um, Martin Winters pulling down lots of rebounds here on the offensive side of the ball. you got to enjoy seeing that. Yes, it's a very good thing to... It, it's been a lot of offensive rebounds, too. So, to get a second chance after missing a shot, it's always a good thing to have for the Braves. This pass out of bounds and North Summit to regain possession. And a low scoring game, it's only two to two, almost three minutes into it. And did you expect it to be this low? Yeah, just because of how good the both offenses are, I think they focused a lot on defense as we see another, another stuff by Isaiah Adams. He's had two so far. Martin Winters has had one on the other end, so. So both offenses bringing a lot to the table, so both teams know they need to step up their defense as Stockton Richens gets inside and takes the lead for the Braves. Four to two, the score, under five to play in the first quarter as Provost gets around the press, drives into the lane. What a good move to the basket, and he's gonna go to the line looking for one more. And a great move by Trey Provost as it looks like he's Pointing to his nose, he might have some blood. And yes, he will. So it looks like he is gonna go to the bench, try and get that cleaned up. So with 4.50, excuse me, 4.49 left in the first quarter, uh, score should be four to four, I believe. It says six to two on the scoreboard here, but score four to four, and number three, Trey Provost going to the line looking for one more. Uh, they fixed it right there. All right, so scoreboard being fixed. We had to talk about that because we were unsure if we were wrong or if they were right, so looks like they did get that fixed. Miss 4-4. And it looks like Provost will shoot the shots for him. So Provost uh, going to get his nose to stop bleeding and Jack Dishman checks in to shoot the free throw. And it looks like we'll have another stoppage here as they see some blood on the floor just in front of the Roland Hall bench. So we'll get that cleaned up and we wait the Jack Dishman free throw. As it looks like we'll get that cleaned up okay. Yeah, there's now a little confusion on if Dishman was already on the floor on the foul or if he is the sub. So it looks like he got sorted out and Dishman was the sub into the game so he's gonna be shooting the free throws for Provost. Man, you want Jack Dishman out of the line in this situation. 365 points on the year. Averaging 15.2. So with those numbers, he's got to be a good free throw shooter. And he makes the first one. Roland Hall now taking the lead five to four. I called that foul on Brian Rodriguez and that is his first second team foul for North Summit. As here's a turnover, Isaiah Adams taking it away and White Wilson, him smart foul there to stop the break as Roland Hall was out and running. So Wade Wilson Hume now checking in for North Summit for Brian Rodriguez. And number four, Xander Smith to inbound for Roland Hall as Ballard back to Smith. Now Dishman in the corner, three-pointer 
Strong, rebounded by Salam, and then out of bounds off of North Summit. So it'll be Roland Hall to inbound. And I actually changed it to Ballard now. Instead of Dishman. As they get it in Dishman at the top of the arc. Trying to pass into the corner to Ballard. He's double teamed, dribbles out of it, and then a foul is gonna be called. Looks like Parker Brown getting called for his first. It's already obvious that Jack Dishman likes to get down in the corner, take those threes from the corner. Hasn't hit one yet, but it, based on how many he's took in, it looks like that's where the Braves will want to keep him away from. So here he is on the wing, back to Ballard. And now Provost, who's just checked back in to the game after leaving for the bloody nose, gives it to Dishman. Ballard at the free throw line is Adams. Now Salam driving baseline, gets stuck, throws it back up to the top, and Roland Hall does track it down. And Dishman gives it back to Provost. Provost to Dishman, and here's a three. And they'll wave that one off as it looks like we had three seconds in the key. Not a very common call, but player must have been camped out there. So he, he got a three to go, but they're going to wave it off. As the North Summit breaking the Roland Hall press, Martin Winters gives it to Cannon Richens, who's checked in for the first time. Cannon going to Stockton. Stockton at the high post. Over to Wyatt. Wyatt, jumper, no good. Rebound, popped out and bounced around. Cannon Richens comes up with it. Now Stockton Richens with the ball. Stockton. Cannon. Now down low, Wade, what a good play by the Braves. Can't get the shot to go though. Wade does get his own rebound and then he traveled. So it's gonna go back to Roland Hall. Number four, Xander Smith checks in along with Mayo Royer. Roland Hall inbounding as this is Provost, now Boston Ballard, giving to Adams, to Xander Smith in the corner, his three off the mark and a foul before the rebound. Going on Royer of Roland Hall. So it's gonna be North Summer Ball. 321 left in the first. Five to four the score, as Roland Hall leads it by one. And Roland Hall pressing, or Summit breaking it. And Martin Winters holds it in the corner. Now drives baseline, loses the ball, and he's fouled. And so far, Martin being very aggressive on both sides of the ball, really, creating a lot of problems on defense for Roland Hall and being very aggressive, rebounding and trying to make shots happen on the offensive side. as he's at the line for one, and it's good. So one more now for Martin Winters, as Brennan Richens is set to check in at the table, and the free throw no good, so we'll wait on Brennan. Game is tied up at five, though, and Rowan Hall out and running after the miss. Trey Provost driving in. Martin Winters fell down, wasn't there to Defend, shot was missed. Uh, Isaiah Adams got the rebound. And he was fouled by Martin after he got back up. So Martin Winters has picked up his first foul. And North Summit now with five team fouls. As Isaiah Adams at the line. Number 23, Yusef Salam has checked in. And Brandon Richens in for Wyatt Wilson. So we haven't seen Brandon Richens play uh, so far in the state tournament. It's the first time he has got in in Richfield as the second free throw is missed. Six to five, the score. Stockton Richens looking down low for Brennan. And Brennan gets involved right when he comes in. 
It gives North some of the lead, seven to six. 2.45 left here in the first. As this first quarter seems to be going quite slow. Provost driving baseline, floater no good. Rebound falling to Cannon Richens. And now Stockton Richens with it. Roland Hall still in this man-to-man -man defense as Stockton drives, puts up a crazy shot. And now rebounded by Isaiah Adams up to Xander Smith. Trey Provost picks up his dribble. Now goes to Adams at the free throw line in the corner to Ballard. Salam. Now Xander Smith on the wing. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound tracked down by Adams. And now this is Boston Ballard on the near wing. Dribbles back up to the top of the arc, and Roland Hall's going to reset. Coach Ross in his third year here at Roland Hall. Getting Roland Hall to play as Provost looking down low to Adams, but Martin Winter's doing good inside. And this is Smith, three-pointer, no good. And the rebound is pulled down by Brennan Richens. A little miscommunication there. And yeah, you had like three North Summit players trying to grab the ball as we have a foul here. Stockton Richens fouled by Youssef Salam. And number 24, Jack Dishman checking back in along with uh, 42, who's checking in for the first time, sophomore center uh, Oscar Perry, or Oscar Percy, sorry. As it is North Summit ball. Wade inbounded, and now Cannon Richens has it. Cannon. Dishing left side to Martin Winters. Martin Winters posting up on Salam. Hook shot no good and rebounded by Jack Dishman. Now this is Provost lobbing it to Percy. Percy trying to go on the other side of the rim. Couldn't get it to go and he gets his own rebound. Now Provost driving in. This is it to Salam. Dishman at the top of the arc. North Summit playing 3-2 defense here as Percy Goes back to Salam, top of the arc, he drives right side. This is over to Dishman, 4-3, as his shot no good. And Brennan Richens had the ball in his hands, lost it out of bounds though. 49 seconds left in the fourth, or excuse me, in the first quarter. As the score is seven to six for North Summit and number one, Rayo Moyer, Mayo Royer, checking back in for Roland Hall. Ballard to inbound, and Roland Hall is going to take a timeout here. A 30-second timeout. North Summit leads it 7-6. to six. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back. All right, back here at the Sphere Valley Center after this timeout taken by Roland Hall. They will, Roland Hall will inbound underneath their own basket. As they get it into Royer, he lost the ball, got it back, lost it again, and goes out of bounds off of Roland Hall. One good thing that I've noticed so far is that Stockton has been staying out of foul trouble, as we talked about, which is a key part for North Summit as they've had their, I guess they've been playing how we're used to seeing North Summit Braves play. As Stockton Richens getting inside, trying to dish it out to Brennan, but Royer takes it away. Lost the ball at half court and Dishman comes to pick it up. Now Dishman in the corner, cross court pass to Provost. Now Ballard thought about the three and now a foul coming. There's that commentator curse you talked about yesterday. Just saying, I've got a Stockton. really bad one. I know. <laughs> just Especially saying when I talk about fouls, like every time you say something about fouls, it seems like what you just said is happening or isn't happening happens. So Stockton picks up his first, and now North Summit at 16 fouls. 
And this is Provost driving in the lane, double clutches. The layup can't get it to go. Adams pulls down the rebound as he is a big rebounder for the Roland Hall team. Now Provost, three-pointer, halfway down and comes back out. Brennan rebounds at Stockton. Heave did not count. That had the distance, though, as it bounces up into the stands. So we head to the second quarter. Low-scoring game, seven to six. The score, North Summit leads it by one. And Roland Hall, so far, uh, doing their job, uh, pulling down rebounds. Isaiah Adams doing really well in that department. But they're just not getting their shots to go. They're getting great looks, and they're just not going down for Roland Hall. Yeah, very low scoring game. Like we were talking about last, yesterday is uncharacteristically low for the Braves. I think we said that their average was about 52 points a game, and they're at six right now, so. A very low quarter, that's for sure. We're gonna see if, the, if they can get it going here and get some points on the board. I think North Summit has played a lot better in this game than they played yesterday against Parwan in this first quarter, especially. They are leading at the end of this quarter. And in that first quarter against Parwan yesterday, they really struggled. They looked like they came out a little sluggish, got into a lot of foul trouble. I mean, they had Perwan in the double bonus before the quarter was even over. Stockton Richens got in foul trouble, so did Parker Brown. So much more of a different game here for North Summit. And staying out of foul trouble and keeping Stockton, especially out of foul trouble, has really helped. So it'll be North Summit ball coming in. North Summit starting with Brennan Richens, Cannon Richens, Stockton Richens. Wilson Hume, uh, Wade Wilson Hume, and Winters. Roland Hall comes in with Provost, Dishman, Adams, Smith, and Royer as Cannon Richens with it. Now Wade over to Brendan, free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound, tracked down by Adams as it looked like he was going to a North Summit player. Now Dishman up the floor, can't get the rebound to go. Excellent defense from Stockton Richens as he hustled to get back. And I remember a play similar to that one in that North Summit Enterprise girls game yesterday when it seemed like Gracie Watterson had a wide open lane to the basket and Jessica Holt came back, blocked the yeah, speaking shot. speaking of commentator's curse. I know, and then I said, well, that's the kind of play that can come back to haunt North Summit because what a great play by Holt to run back. That could decide the game when you get into the fourth quarter. And in fact, North Summit ended up losing that game by two. So Stockton Richens creating disruption down there We'll see if it has that same kind of effect as I'm getting the feeling that this game is going to be close throughout. So looks like we're going to have another stoppage. I believe they might have found more blood on the floor. Looks like right there on the S. As Trey Provost got a bloody nose earlier in the first quarter. And he's been playing since then. Is that still from, I don't know if that's from Provo, Provo from him or? just now or when he first got it, but he has, he has his nose plugged up, so I think he's okay. I mean, I don't think he'd be bleeding still. What eyes to notice that though? Like. I know, like right there, that's, yeah, that's a pretty good eye. As Smith launches a three, no good, and pulled down by Martin Winters. Stockton Richens with the ball. Roland Hall still playing this man-to-man -man as Stockton comes off the screen. Pass over to Wade. Wade double teamed in the corner. Finds Brennan underneath the basket. No good on the layup, but he gets his own rebound. Now Cannon Richens going back down low to Brennan. Brennan throws it away. Xander Smith coming with it for North, uh, excuse me, Roland Hall. And Cannon Richens comes away with a steal. As Stockton Richens down the other way. Can't get the layup to go. Rebound bounces out to Smith. And here's Provost guarded by Cannon Richens and Cannon fouls him. Layup does not go, but this will send Provost to the line. Good hustle by Cannon on both of those times, just this time not getting lucky and getting the ball, so the foul will be called. As this is Trey Provost shooting two, makes the first. Parker Brown coming in for Wade, and Wyatt Wilson Hume also coming in for Brendan Richens, Yusef Salam, 
in for Roland Hall and Boston Ballard in for the Winged Lions as well, Xander Smith and oh. Mayo Royer to the bench. Speaking of blood, it looks like we didn't notice that Salam had some, he, as he's got some toilet paper in his nose. Oh yeah, he does. So it must have been from uh, Salam and not... As, as he gets the steal and that changes the, that gets the game to like the biggest lead that it has been so far in the game. As that won't help North Summit's cause either as Cannon Richens trying to break this press, threw it away. Yeah, I didn't even notice Salam get a bloody nose, but he's come back in and he too has tissue in his nose. So that blood probably was from him and not Provost as it is Roland Hall ball. They're up by three. Largest lead of the game as this is Salam. Out to Dishman now from Ballard and his three way off the mark. Adams trying to track down the rebound in the corner, but can't hold on to it as it'll go to North Summit. And Sm Smith will come in for Provost for Roland Hall. As North Summit turning the ball over again, this press starting to give them problems as Salam makes the three. And just like that, Roland Hall is up by six. And Yusef Salam coming back into the game, five points in a row. He's flipped the game on its head. As North Summit now finding themselves down by six with 6.02 left in the second quarter. That press giving North Summit all sorts of problems. How do you break such, how do you break this press that Roland Hall is putting on? I don't know, but you just can't force it just because we've seen him try to, these two times, try to get it somewhere where maybe it's not really the best spot that it could go and it's cost two turnovers, which has put them down by six. You gotta keep, you gotta stay calm with press. When you start getting in a hurry, that's exactly what the other team wants you to do. As there's a good shot of the T-shirts North Summit is sporting, along with a lot of their fans, in honor of uh, Hayden Blomquist, one of, well, North Summit's best player, I'm gonna say, who uh, was diagnosed with leukemia and is battling leukemia. And best wishes to him as I'm sure he is at the hospital watching this game, cheering on the Braves as Cannon Richens with the ball for North Summit over to Stockton. And North Summit broke the press there. And then a foul being called on number 23, Youssef Salam. Ron Hall so far being very aggressive on defense. With that press, they'll just box them in, keep, make sure that they're, they don't get past to where they can score. As that is Salam's second foul, 15th foul for Roland Hall. Martin Winters over to Parker Brown. Parker Brown double team dribbles into another double team then gives to Stockton Richens. He dishes to Wyatt. Wyatt getting underneath the basket and makes those two points look easy as that was a really tough shot. But Wyatt Wilson Hume's good dexterity makes it look easier than it was and Cannon Richens with a hard foul that sends him to the ground. And that'll send Boston Ballard to the line. Shooting one and one, Cannon picking up his second. Eighth team foul now. For the Braves. As Boston Ballard at the line, shooting one and one now. 13 to nine the score. Largest lead of the game was six for Roland Hall. Is at five now, and Ballard can make it six here again. As his shot is no good on the second. So it's 14 to nine, five point lead for the winged Lions. And Stockton Richens gives to Wyatt. Wyatt trying to force the issue. And you said you can't force passes that aren't there. That one was not there. But North Summit fortunate to get back the ball as Stockton Richens driving in trying to pass to Parker Brown, tipped away by Provost, and now Provost on the attack. One on three, and he got it to go. 
Amazing move by Trey Provost in the lane. 16 to nine, now the score. Roland Hall on a good run here as Xander Smith being called for the foul. And there's another look at that move. Going in between three defenders like that on the fast break all by himself. Trey Provost gets the tough basket. And we'll see again, right, just on this drive, how this press is affecting the Braves as Stockton Richens air balls a three pointer. And then a foul on the rebound is called on Martin Winters. As that will send Roland Hall to the line again, shooting one and one here. And that's Martin's second. Brian coming into the game for Winters. As Trey Provost at the line, shooting one and one. And looking at this Roland Hall roster, quite a young lineup for the Winged Lions. Provost is a junior. Boston Ballard, only a sophomore. Isaiah Adams, a sophomore. Uh, Salam and Dishman are both seniors. Xander Smith, a junior, and uh, Roy are also a junior. So a young lineup that Roland Hall has on the floor. So this will be a good team next year as well, as there'll be a foul. North Summit trying to break the press, and now that foul will put North Summit into the bonus. Seventh team foul on Roland Hall. And as they call this one on Provost, and that is his second. Sends Brian Rodriguez to the line. Shooting one and one. Or something down by nine. Looking to get back into this game here as free throw is short. Rebounded by Smith and Provost to bring it up. Ballard has his pass tipped away by Cannon. It gets to Provost now. Xander Smith, three-pointer, bounces around and no good. With Wyatt Wilson even pulling down the rebounds. Dr. Richens off and running. He got stripped and Salam comes away with it. And Yusef Salam has been a very big player here for Roland Hall. It's been kind of the game changer because when he came back in after exiting with his bloody nose, he really provided a spark for Roland Hall and they've just kept feeding off of that. Yeah, he's been a really big rebounder, which we said would be a very impactive point in the game. As another foul here is called on Trey Provost, as he now has third, uh, three, excuse me. And 18 fouls for Roland Hall as Jack Dishman checking back in. Parker Brown, who's one of North Summit's uh, leading scorers, been kind of quiet in this game as he misses the free throw. North Summit can't get their free throws to drop as this will be Boston Ballard with it. Xander Smith back to Ballard. Now Smith, Salam in the corner. Roland Hall just trying to move the ball around. Now Jack Dishman driving. Right side layup doesn't go, but he is fouled. He's gonna go to the line. Roland Hall just being so much more aggressive right now than North Summit is. And the Braves find themselves in double digit foul situation again, which not as early as it was last last game, but still it's there and impactful. As Cannon Richens checks out for the Braves as, and Wade wilson Hume will check in. And we see Nurse Summit has gone to the line just like Roland Hall is, but the, the difference is Roland Hall is hitting their free throws, North Summit not hitting their free throws. So free throws will win you games and you gotta get them as it is now 19 to nine. And North Summit breaking that press the best they can. And White Wilson Hume gets blocked by Adams. Adams so tall and, and they're gonna call that a foul against North Summit. I thought it was gonna be the other way around. As that will send Boston Ballard to the line, he'll be shooting two. Stockton Richards picks up a second. And you bring up uh, about Isaiah Adams being so tall? He, he's been rebound. He's been rebounding ones that look like it's gonna go way over him, way over above 
where he is and he still just somehow gets to it and gets the rebound off of the shot. As free throw, no good. So it's 20 to 19. This game being taken over by Roland Hall as North Summit has, fall, has fallen behind by 11 now. And this pressure that Roland Hall is creating has just been so disruptive. I mean, you haven't even seen North Summit get a decent shot since Wyatt Wilson even made his basket underneath, directly underneath. And that was towards the beginning of this quarter, so North Summit really struggling with this pressure that Roland Hall has been putting on them. And yesterday at the Enterprise girls game, we talked about how momentum is such a big thing in basketball, and it's showing here. It was almost tied just a few minutes ago, and now they come back, and it's now an 11-point game. As there's a foul on the rebound, Xander Smith missing the three. And then they call a foul on Roland Hall on Jack Dishman. And that sends Martin Winters to the line. So North Summit here with another shot at some free throws. This can cut the lead to single digits if he makes both of them. And very apparent that you make free throws to stay in games. As Martin Winters does get the first one to go. Martins is a very good free throw shooter as we've seen in the past few games. And normally people that play underneath the basket a lot, not the best free throw shooters, but Martin Winters is a really good free throw shooter for playing under the basket as much as he does. As he goes two for two and you can see the nice stroke he has on the ball here as he cuts the lead to single digits, 20 to 11. And Royer getting called for the carry. It's a good momentum swing right there. As Yes, that's what I was just going to say. North Summit with a real chance to shift momentum in their favor. But Yusef Salam, who has been the difference maker here for Roland Hall, I feel like, coming back into the game now. As Martin Winters gets the inbounds pass. Wade Wilson Hume coming off the screen. And Brian Rodriguez getting called for the moving screen. I watched that sc the screen and it didn't seem like that was moving. Well, the, re the ref gave an explanation to Coach Priest saying he was using his shoulder too much. So, not really moving, but just a little too physical. As Smith has it in the corner. Now Dishman for three. This one off the mark, rebounded by Martin Winters. As he gives it to Cannon Richens. And North Summit with the ball. As Brian Rodriguez has it down low. Faking out Salam and can't get a shot to go. Martin Winters putting it back up. No good. North Summit still can't get a shot to go here. As the two free throws is all they've had in the last few minutes as fight for the ball after another missed shot. Cannon Richens in the middle of that. Shortest player on the floor getting tangled up in the rebound. with the two tallest players for Roland Hall. And Cannon Richens has that attitude where he doesn't care how big you are, he's going for it. Jump ball possession now is pointing to Roland Hall as Trey Provost checks back in for Roland Hall and uh, Brendan Richens coming in for North Summit. Have we, we've seen North Summit uh, do a little bit of pressing as Brendan Richens being a difference maker with the time he's gotten, gets in the game and gets a steal. And Martin Winters giving it to Wade Wilson Hume. As it's Brennan looking down low to Martin, back out to Wade. Wade looking inside to Brennan, had it knocked away by Salam, and now Dishman on the other end. Too easy as Roland Hall once again doubling up North Summit on the scoreboard, 22 to 11. As Brennan at the free throw line, back out to Cannon. Now back to Brennan on the baseline. He passes back to Cannon, and that one too far. It'll be back court. And Stockton has two fouls. We've seen him go to the bench. And it seems like ever since he went to the bench, they've fallen like, yeah. North Summit's game has uh, went downhill. They've lost this, they've lost more control on the lead. 
So once again, just seeing in this game how big of a difference maker Stockton Richens really is when he's on the floor. As Brandon knocks this one out of bounds. North Summit needing to come up with some stops here with about just over one minute left in this half. And they need some quality offensive possessions. Get some momentum rolling as they head into the locker room. As Roland Hall with the ball, Ballard holding it near midcourt. As Cannon Richards comes out to pick him up, now he goes over to Dishman. Parker Brown guarding Trey Provost as North Summit has moved into a man-to-man. -man. Roland Hall looks very content to just hold it out. That's all they're doing is just passing it right out to the corners. And Now Smith in the corner for three from Ballard. And Roland Hall with the 25 to 11 lead now. As Ballard put on some good moves, and then dished out to Smith. Now Parker Brown in the corner, trying to get to Martin Winters. Martin Winters down low, out to Wade Wilson-Hume. Wade Wilson-Hume going back down low to Martin. Martin bumping inside, gets blocked. And ball goes out of bounds. And they call it off of North Summit as Adams came in, blocked it. I didn't really see who it went off of. That was... The ref was saying it went off the back. Of Martin Winters? Of Martin. Hmm. So it is Roland Hall ball as Provost going through everyone and Martin Winters. Martin Winters. Standing right in the way. He didn't want Provost to go by him, so he fouls him. And that's his third, so a big foul there for Martin. Martin in a little bit of trouble. Um, like the trouble that... Stockton was in. So that's in Provost to the line. Maybe shooting two. North Summit did pretty well to stay out of foul trouble in the first quarter. As you can tell now, getting themselves in more foul trouble as the second quarter has gone on. Putting Roland Hall at the line. And that free throw was missed, but Roland Hall doing a very good job to get to the line and make these free throws when they have the opportunities. As the second free throw goes, 26 to 11, and North Summit just spiraling downward in this game, and Roland Hall just building more momentum on every possession as Brandon hoists the three at the buzzer. Looked good for my angle, and yeah. Ended up going off the backboard, no good. So that's how we will head to halftime. 26 to 11 the score. Roland Hall, winged Lions, leading the North Summit Braves. And both teams with a lot to think about going in the locker room. Roland Hall has got to feel good about how they played so far though, as they've obviously been the dominant team on the boards, as well as uh, on defense, creating so much havoc for North Summit. Yep. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back here at the Severe Valley Center for this 2 8 consolation game.
Back here at Severe Valley Center at halftime right now. Score uh, 26 to 11 for the North Summit Braves, uh, excuse me, for the Roland Hall Wing Lions as they jumped out to a very quick start in the second quarter and build a very large lead. Uh, we talked about it at halftime. North Summit had six points at the end of the first quarter. Now they had five points in that second quarter for their total of 11. And that has got to be their lowest scoring half probably all season. So something for the Braves to build upon in the second half. Um, and what else did you see in that game from either side? It, it just didn't seem like it was the Braves and they wanted that. They, it didn't seem like they had the drive that they needed to have to push through this game. And you've got to be thinking that's one thing that Coach Aaron Priest is talking to him about. Is like, you've got to want this because this could be the last half of their season if they don't, if they don't step up and start playing like we're used have we're used to them playing. This could very well be the last half that they play. And on the other side of the ball, Roland Hall is having a great defensive game. Honestly, they're disrupting North Summit so much, and I think this low scoring game for North Summit is really because of how disruptive Roland Hall has been. It also has hurt not having Stockton Richens uh, play most of the second quarter. He got taken out about halfway through, so he kind of missed his ability to uh, break that pressure and lead the team in that situation. But Roland Hall just really having a solid game. We talked about uh, Isaiah Adams, who's only Big a sophomore. Player. He's only a sophomore, and he is doing a tremendous job in this game. Him and Salam are probably yes, the him. big players for for Roland Hall. Him and Yusef Salam, and we saw Salam um, come into the game after he exited with his bloody nose, and he came in, had five points in a row. He had got the steal that led to the layup, and then he hit a big three uh, right in front of North Summit's bench, and it seemed like after that, North Summit got down by six, and then all of the wind in their cells just totally disappeared. And since then, it's not been nothing but Roland Hall. Wyatt Wilson did make that shot underneath the basket, and then they got two free throws there. But Roland Hall just has built this big lead as uh, the winged Lions are back out on the court. And North Summit now making their way onto the court as well as two minutes and 20 seconds here left in this halftime period. So, you said uh, Aaron Priest's message to the Braves would be, you gotta, want it. you gotta want it. Anything else that you'd be telling North Summit? That they've gotta break through that pressure. They need to find, just like Enterprise yesterday again for the girls, they've gotta break that defense. That defense is keeping them very much in the game. So, so they need to just find a way to break that press. And it has been so disruptive. I mean, so many turnovers did North Summit which started the lead, started them to lead. Because I remember us talking about it as soon as they went up by six. No, it was seven. They went up by seven after two turnovers. And we just talked about how big that was that they got those two points. So we'll have to see if North Summit can figure out a way to break through this pressure. And we did see them trying to apply pressure, but Roland Hall did a good job at breaking North Summit's press. So North Summit's got to get more disruptive on the offensive side of the ball, on the defensive side of the ball, I feel like. And Roland Hall, I mean, just keep doing what you're doing, really. Isaiah Adams coming up in a big way. We were talking about some of the blocks that he had in that first half. He's had three really solid ones. Just like big, big blocks. Not like, like oh, that was a good block, like, like stuffing the defenders. And you saw that one on Martin Winters. Martin was going up strong, and Isaiah Adams totally swatted it away. And I can't believe that kid is only a sophomore. He plays with so much poise and acts like he's been playing basketball for a lot longer than just in 10th grade. So about to get the second half started here at the Severe Valley Center between the North Summit Braves and the Roland Hall Winged Lions as both teams making their way back to their huddles. Winner of this game moving on to play Enterprise tomorrow. 
at uh, 1140 as you just watched Enterprise. Boys beat uh, Altamont boys. And after this game, uh, stay tuned. Girls semifinal game, Beaver and Enterprise coming up at 410 after our game concludes. So stay tuned for that as that should be a fun game to watch. Again, the second half started here with North Summit. As Stockton Richens looking down low to Brian. Martin Winters coming down the lane. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound falls to Brian. Brian driving, scoring, and he's going to go to the line. And that's look something for one they more. needed. They needed something to give them a little bit of light. And that's something that gives them some motivation coming into this second half. As they get number 23, Youssef Salam with his third. And Mayo Royer will come back in for him. So one of the different makers we've been talking about here for Roland Hall will most likely sit quite a bit here in the third quarter as Roland Hall with the ball. North Summit going back to that press, and it just hasn't worked this weekend as Wyatt coming back out of the press gets the steal. Good awareness by Wilson Hume. And now Stockton Richens with it going the other way, giving to Parker Brown. Takes a screen from Brian. And another illegal screen. And that's the second illegal screen we've seen called on Brian. And I could see the first one. When first they one said seemed, shoulder, but the first one seemed a little uh, more physical. That, that one, one, that one seemed pretty good. It was a normal screen and were they calling it because he wasn't there early enough, or? I'm not sure why they called it. I didn't, I didn't hear any explanation for that one. But that one looked much, much better than that first screen did. So, Brian picking up his third foul now. First team foul in this half, as Dishman driving in, and now out to Provost Ballard, back to Provost. And Roland Hall's going to reset here with Boston Ballard. A minute ten into this third quarter. Roland Hall leads it by 12. 26 14 the score. Jack Dishman driving in the lane, gives it to Isaiah Adams. Pump fakes, goes back to Dishman. Free throw line jumper is good. As it is 28 14. And now Stockton Richens weaving through traffic, gives to Parker Brown in the corner. His three pointer is good. 28 17, 11 point lead now for Roland Hall. North Summit coming out with much more momentum here in this third quarter as Dishman answers right back. So North Summit with more life here in the second half, but Roland Hall is not giving them anything as Stockton driving and scores too. And Stockton Richens sat for most of that second quarter. Isaiah Adams answering right back though as it is 33 to 19. So Stockton Richens sat for a lot of that second quarter, didn't see him very much. And he's kind of come back out, seeming like he wants to try and have a better control on this game, try and lead his team back into it. Now, someone just turning the ball over here back to Roland Hall. As this is Provost driving, kicks out to Adams, wide open, missed a shot. Brian Rodriguez pulls down the rebound. And now Stockton Richens to bring it up. As Stockton, past the timeline, weaving through defenders, draws the foul as they will give this one to number 14, Boston Ballard. Second team foul now for Roland Hall. First one on Ballard. And Parker Brown to inbound. As this is Brian Rodriguez, now Parker Brown, Stockton Richens. Stockton goes to Martin and now Wyatt driving baseline, stops and gets called for the double dribble as he got stuck with the ball. Didn't have anywhere to go with it. So we'll go back to Roland Hall. 5.07 left in third. North Summit showing a little bit of press as want to start seeing some more success as that will not be the case on this one, but they do come up with the turnover as Adams bobbled the ball. So I guess a little bit of success on the pressure there. As this will be Stockton Richens back the other way. Wyatt Wilson Hume 
with it, taking Martin Winter's screen. Stopped by Ballard, now Martin, excuse me, Brian Rodriguez to Parker Brown in the corner. And Parker Brown, three-pointer again, virtually from the same spot as North Summit. Now needing to stop Roland Hall on this other end as Isaiah Adams making it look easy. A good move to get to 35-22 the score. Multiple subs to check in here. On the next dead ball is Stockton Richens now in the corner. His three-pointer no good. Rebound pulled down by Provost and a foul is called on the rebound as Wyatt Wilson Hume gets called for the foul. Brennan Richens in for North Summit. Who's that, who's that foul called on by North Summit? Uh, Wyatt Wilson Hume. Oh, okay. So only his second. It looked like it might have been Martin and that would have been his fourth, so. Yeah, that would have been bad. So Xander Smith, uh, along with Yusef Salam, has checked back in for Roland Hall. As Provost lost the ball, but got it back. Now he's stuck in the corner. Kicks it up to Smith. Now Ballard, North Summit, guarding man-to-man. -man. As we've seen him play 3-2 in man-to-man. -man. As Ballard takes the Salam screen. Now gives it to Smith. Smith for three. This one no good. Rebound pulled down by Stockton Richens as he's off and running up the left side. Reverses, goes back into the paint. Up and under, shot no good, and he's gonna go to the line because he was fouled. Great move by Stockton, and you can really see his determination here in this third quarter, coming out of the locker room, really wanting this. So if anyone got that message of coming back out and really wanting it, Stockton Richens is definitely one of those players. As free throw is short, and he'll have one more here. Score right now, 35 to 22. As they get Isaiah Adams for his first foul. So he's been a big player, but another thing he's done well at is staying out of foul trouble. And big players like his, cal uh, players to his caliber need to stay out of foul trouble, stay on the floor. As Provost is driving and he's shooting, so he'll go to the line after he was fouled as Brennan Richens gets called for the foul here. His first. North Summit now with three team fouls. And number three, Trey Provost at the line, shooting two as he gets the first one to go. 23-36, 13 point lead for Roland Hall. And Provost will have one more now. Clock, clock stopped at 3.35. And the second one good, 37.23. Roland Hall back in this pressure. North Summit looking to break it as Stockton Richens will. And Stockton driving in, gets the layup to go as that makes it 37-25, 12 point lead for the Winged Lions. Ballard with it. Wade Wilson Hume said to check in. As Boston Ballard content to just dribble it here. Stockton Richardson comes up, gives him some pressure. Ballard takes the Isaiah Adams screen, dribbles around the bottom of the basket now, gets it back from Salam. As he's gonna come back up right in front of us here and Roland Hall is wanting to take as much time as they can as the same play here. This time it's Trey Provost for three, no good. Adams bringing down the rebound and a foul on the rebound. Looks like Brennan Richardson is gonna be called for it. As I believe that'll be his second. Wade Wilson checking in. And Jack Dishman checking in for Roland Hall. So Brennan with his second, North Summit with four, as Ballard with it in the paint, leaves it for Adams, and Adams gets two points. 39-25, 2.28 left in the third. Roland Hall leading by 14 as Isaiah Adams coming up with a steal here, and can't give Adams that chance as Roland Hall gives the Dishman, excuse me, Ballard to Dishman, and he gets 
three more, 42 to 25 now. Roland Hall once again taking control of this game as Stockton Rich has turned it over for a second, got it back, and then a foul is called on Provost. This game getting to the point where it's almost out, out of North Summit's hands, but it, it's still there. If we can take the momentum away from Roland Hall. That will help the Braves. So two minutes left in the third quarter, and Cannon Richards has checked in for North Summit, as this will be Parker Brown on the wing. Martin Winters out to Cannon. Cannon shot off the mark and rebounded by Martin. Martin going up and getting fouled as he's gonna go to the line and shoot two. Roland Hall now has their fourth team foul. 143 left in the third. And they get Isaiah Adams for his second. Martin Winters going to the line, shooting two. As we mentioned earlier, Martin with a good stroke on the ball at the free throw line, and he gets the first one to go. He'll have one more. We low for as it is 42-26 now. Martin looking to make it a 15-point game, and he will. 42-27 the score. Roland Hall on top by 15 here in this 2A consolation game. Winner moving on to play Enterprise for fifth place. Loser done for the season. As this is Dishman with it. Goes over to Ballard and Roland Hall has been very content to just dribble it out by midcourt and take as much time as they can off the clock. Roland Hall going to take a full timeout here as clock stops with 114 left in the third. Roland Hall leading the North Summit Braves here 42 to 27 at the Sphere Valley Center. Take a short break and we'll be right back. Coming back out of the timeout now, it'll be Roland Hall of Ball inbounding just in front of us. As it'll be Dishman to inbound, Adams gets it in. And now it'll be Ballard. Back to Dishman, another three for Dishman, and yes. Roland Hall now on top, 45-27. North Summit has to do something here towards the end of the third quarter to get it a little bit of momentum headed into the fourth. As we seen, we seen some life out of North Summit. Uh, about midway through the third, they looked really good. Stockton Richens was making a lot of things happen for the Braves. And then Laurel Hall went back into this big pressure as Parker Brown three from the corner, and that's another made three for Parker Brown. 15 point lead once again for Roland Hall. But Roland Hall, has just been going back to that pressure, and North Summit has been struggling with it all game. And that's why Roland Hall has this 15 point lead, as this will be Ballard, now Salam, back to Ballard. Youssef Salam, who was the spark in the second quarter for the Winged Lions, really helped get this big lead rolling. As it's Ballard to Dishman, another three for Dishman, yes! And Jack Dishman is on fire here. He and Parker Brown doing very well. 
on the threes as Cannon hoisting that half court shot up and it is no good. So we head to the fourth quarter. The score right now is 48 to 30, an 18 point lead for Roland Hall. And as we head into the fourth quarter, Carson, uh, what are you saying in your huddle if you're Roland Hall here? That they've almost got it. They just got to keep keep them mentally awake. They can't fall asleep right here. They, they've got to keep going with what they're doing. And then if you're in North Summit's huddle, what do you think the message is? That the next few minutes are the most important time of this match. Like, how they come out is how the game's gonna finish. If they don't come out ready to win and just go and score, this this game is not gonna look very good there at the end for them. So North Summit has to come out with that same intensity they came out with in the third quarter. They came out really looking good here in the third. Then that intensity kind of tapered off towards the end. So that we'll see if they can come back out with that intensity. Which here at State, that's been pretty much the storyline for them. They'll be intent, have pretty good intensity for a while, but then it'll just fade away and taper off. Roland Hall to begin with the ball here in the fourth quarter as we have a foul right off the bat. Stockton Richens picks up a quick foul. As that is the fifth team foul now for North Summit, and Stockton Richens picks up his third as Xander Smith inbounds it to Adams. Adams out to Ballard. And North Summit can't let Ballard sit here and just run time off. They've got to pressure him as much as possible. As Dishman giving to Salam now. Got his man in the air, drew the foul. As they were gonna give this foul to Brennan Richens. Sixth team foul. Now for North Summit. As Brennan has his third. And Ballard to inbound. Passes up to Dish, uh, excuse me, Salam. And Salam fakes the pass now, driving, dishing to Adams over his head. Out of bounds. Back to North Summit. And here comes that pressure from Roland Hall. As Stockton Richards with it. Back to Parker Brown. North Summit looking break this press as they try and trap in the corners, very similar to what North Summit does, and they've executed it very well as Stockton now driving into the lane as, what's the call here? Looks like a foul on Roland Hall as they call it on Boston Ballard as that is the sixth team foul on Ballard, uh, excuse me, on Roland Hall. And North Summit inbound. Ballard picks up his second. As Cannon Richens with the ball now. Stockton Richens in the corner. Shakes off the defender, goes to Brennan, free throw line. Jumper is good. 7.09 left in the fourth. 48-32. As Boston Ballard with it now. Ford Roland Hall, Trey Provost check, set to check back in. As this is Provost driving into the lane, leaving it for Adams. And we've seen that a few times as Ballard or Provost will get inside. Draw Martin Winters up. Nice easy dish over to Adams for two. As North Summit looking to break the pressure. And Dishman got it. Good awareness to throw it back off of Parker Brown. As a score right now, 50 to 32, 636 left in the fourth. And Coach Aaron Priest needing a timeout. As it'll be just a quick 30 second timeout. So North Summit came out, scored. Groland Hall answered right back. And that seems to have been the case with North Summit. Got on that, got going a little bit there in the third quarter. Roland Hall shut it down and because they just kept answering what North Summit 
whenever North Summit was scoring. So then when North Summit missed, Roland Hall would come back down and score, and then that momentum that you had was lost. So North Summit needs to find a way to get the steal, uh, to get points on the board and then come up with stops on the other end. They're getting the points, they're just not getting the stops after they score. So it'll be Roland Hall ball now. Salam inbounding to Ballard. And Ballard will bring it up for Roland Hall. As he comes off of the Adams screen, bounced the ball off a of cannon, but got it back. And now Salam back out to Ballard. And Roland Hall is just going to run time off here. As all they do is pass it, and then Ballard goes right back to where he's at near midcourt and runs off a lot of time with possessions like these as it's Salam back up to Ballard. See, that's what they do. They just pass around for a little bit. And Ballard will come back out here and dribble it. As Ballard now driving in, lost this one. And Parker Brown two on one with Stockton Richens. Gives to Stockton and Stockton gets two points. As Stockton has been doing very well for the Braves. Boston Ballard back with the ball for Roland Hall. North Summit needs to keep trying to come up with steals here if Roland Hall is going to take off time like this. And pick and roll action now with Isaiah Adams and Boston Ballard. Isaiah Adams missing the shot. Brandon Richens pulling down the rebound. Stockton Richens gives to Cannon as he rifles this pass to Parker Brown. Quick three, short, and rebounded by Dishman in the corner. Dishman giving to Salam and a foul called here on Stockton Richens. As that will now be one and one. Roland Hall headed to the line. Youssef Salam at the line. And White Wilson Hume checks in. Stockton Richards has four fouls. So he's got to be careful not to pick up that fifth with 519 left. As Salam. Misses the first, rebounded by Martin Winters, and then a foul called on Martin Winters on the rebound. That's four for him. So Martin Winters pulls down the rebound, gets called for the foul using the elbow. And be Roland Hall ball, inbounding underneath. And the foul, shouldn't they have been with one and one? A timeout taken here by Roland Hall. We'll take a short break as well, and we'll be right back. Coming back out of the timeout now, it'll be Roland Hall ball inbounding underneath as great camera work going on here by our cameraman at the Sevier Valley Center, giving good shots of everyone around the stadium. Good time here at the state tournament. Lots of fun coming down here. As one more day for us and can't wait more fun to come as looks like, let's see, both teams going back to their benches now and I'm not sure what's happening. As I think maybe a dispute on the score between the scorekeepers here. We'll try and get it figured out as it looks like all the scorekeepers coming together at the table here. 
Score says uh, 50 to 34. I'm not sure if they're wanting to know if the score is correct or the foul situation is correct or what they're looking at here. But they're going to take a break and look at it. That has two officials here at the table trying to get this situation sorted out. And it looks like they will. So it looks like uh, nothing changed on the scoreboard. Score still 50-34. Foul still the same. So whatever problem they might have thought has been sorted out and we're good. So it'll be Roland Hall ball inbounding right in front of their bench as Ballard gets it into Adams. And Adams is gonna pull up from three. This one way off the mark. Salam pulls down the rebound. 505 left in the fourth. Boston Ballard driving right side. Alley oop pass to Adams and two more points. As Isaiah Adams having a great game here. And now a turnover. Stockton Richens throwing it away. And it's just that pressure again that Roland Hall has been putting on North Summit. Roland Hall didn't put a bunch of pressure on North Summit with this press. And they weren't really disrupting North Summit's offense as much at the start of the third. And you really saw North Summit be successful in that third quarter. And then they started to put it on the press again as Adams misses the shot here, gets his own rebound, throws one up, and misses this one too. So it'll be a turnover. White Wolves team not aware of Adams behind him. And now Ballard can't come up with the three. Salam pulls down the rebound and a foul on North Summit. Four twenty-three left in this game, and it is 52-34. Youssef Salam can make it a 20-point lead for Roland Hall with these two free throws. First one on the way, no good, and rebounded by Stockton Richens. Stockton Richens drawing the foul on Salam. So that'll be now one and one for North Summit. As that is the seventh team foul. And that is Yusa, uh, Yusef Salam now has four. As number zero, Aiden Musbekovic checks in for Roland Hall. And the first free throw, good. Stockton Richens, one more. And now 42, Oscar Percy coming in for Roland Hall as well. And that might be Isaiah Adams' uh, last play of the evening as he had a great game. And now he will go to the bench. Well, free throws good from Stockton Richens. That is 52-26. And Stockton Richens coming away with a steal, weaving in and out of defenders, going against all five of the Roland Hall players and gets one to go. As Stockton Richens tears away the ball from Percy, went through every player on Roland Hall and got that to go. And Stockton not giving up here in this last four minutes of the game. And Isaiah Adams looks like he will be coming back into the game, so not the end of his night after all, along with Xander Smith and Oscar Percy to the bench. One more here from Stockton Richens. Does North Summit have one last push in them here with 4.05 left in the fourth? as it is 52 to 39. And it was just an 18 point lead. North Summit has now scored five, courtesy of Stockton Richens and 
back in this game just a little bit more than they were before. Roland Hall has to find a way to uh, shut this down and keep control of this game. North Summit just needs to stay on this run and then get back into it. So we'll be coming out of the timeout here shortly. It'll be Roland Hall ball after the made free throws from Stockton Richens. So Rowan Hall to inbound underneath. Uh, North Summit's basket. And it'll be Youssef Salam to inbound. As he inbounds to Smith. Smith guarded by Cannon Richens and now he gets to Salam. Roland Hall has been breaking this pressure here from Roland Hall. Excuse me, Roland Hall has been breaking this pressure here from North Summit as Adams gets another lob layup to go. As that's been Roland Hall's offense here these last few minutes. He's thrown up to Adams and he makes it look easy. Stockton Richards driving, gets blocked by Adams as he saves it in. And now on the other end, Boston Ballard can't get it to go, but the follow by number 24, Jack Dishman. 56-39, four straight points from the Wing Lions as this is Stockton Richens for three. No, rebound Stock, uh, White Wilson, you now Parker Brown, short, and rebounded by Smith. 3.05 left in the fourth. North Summit trying to get that ball back and leaving Jack Dishman wide open on the other end. And just like that, 20 point lead for Roland Hall. As Coach Priest gonna take a full time out with 2.52 left in the game. 59 to 39. As Roland Hall has done very well in this game, build a big lead in the first half, and they've just built on it here in the second half. We're gonna take a quick break for this timeout, and we'll be right back. All right, coming back out of the timeout. Coach Priest has checked in all the seniors here. Now that Stockton Richens, White Wilson, Wade Wilson, Hume, Brian Rodriguez, and Martin Winters, as this is Wade into the paint. Layup no good, rebound pulled down by Martin Winters. Martin Winters forcing the issue and draws the foul. As he's gonna go to the line. Roland Hall. I have two subs coming in here. As Martin Winters at the line, winged the Lions leading it by 20, 59-39. As the winner of this game does move on to play Enterprise tomorrow for fifth and sixth. Martin Winters no good on the free throw. And Aiden Musbekovic coming back in. And at number 22, Isaac Holbrook in for Roland Hall as we'll see if Adam stays on the bench now. And a free throw miss, rebound to Rodriguez. Now Winters gets two, so he misses the two free throws but gets two points nonetheless. As that now makes it 59-41. Boston Ballard weaving in and out of traffic. Good move and gets two. North Summit's putting on as much pressure as they can. Unfortunately, just not disrupting Roland Hall enough. And Roland Hall has got a lot of open shots that have went down as a result of North Summit's, uh, breaking North Summit's pressure as Wade steps into a three, and that's good. 61-44 now, two minutes left in the game as here's Ballard again, weaving through traffic, and here's Holbrook for three, no good. Stockton Richens rebounds it, and he is going fast. 
as he now dishes to Wade. Wade shoots the three. He'll wave it off, though. Offensive foul on Stockton Richens. And that's going to be Stockton's fifth foul. As I don't remember his, four, his fourth. Yep. So Stockton with five. He fouls out of the game. And last game, Stockton will play in a Braves uniform as he had a great career, a great season for the Braves. As a tough way to end your last game, Cannon Richens is going to check back in here as Stockton Richens gets a good applaud here from the North Summit faithful. As Roland Hall has checked in the reserves. And a foul here on Brian Rodriguez. And the Braves being aggressive, trying to come up with any sort of turnover. Roland Hall now at the line, shooting two free throws. First one, no good. 61 to 44. One more free throw now. Neither one is good, so North Summit with the rebound and they have the ball. Cannon Richens giving it to Martin. Martin hands it back off to Cannon. Cannon into the corner. Cross court pass to Wade. Wade takes the three, now gives to Brian. Looking down low to Martin. Out of Martin's reach, but he did save it in bounds as Roland Hall now with the ball. Wyatt Wilson coming up with the steal, throwing it back behind his back, and now Mustbekovic down low gets two more. 63-44 as North Summit throws the ball away here. One oh two. Left in the game, Roland Hall ball. As it'll be Roland Hall ball now. And 53 seconds left in the game. Number 31, George Anacondas has checked in. As Arsenal does get the ball back here with 46.2 left on the clock. Cannon Richens with it. As this will be Wade Wilson Hume. Dribbles into the corner, shoots a three, and that's good. So Wade Wilson Hume has scored six points here in the last few minutes. And ball going back to North Summit now after. A Roland Hall turnover, 33.9. Brian Rodriguez to Cannon. Now Wade, another three. And this one no good. Going after his own rebound, but it's rebounded by Roland Hall. Now pushing up to Percy and easy two points. There for the winged Lions, as this will now be Wade. Getting screen from Brian. Kicks out over to Cannon, back to Wade. Wade shooting with nine seconds, no good on that. Rebounded by Holbrook as a three at the buzzer will go down. And so that is how the game comes to an end here. North Summit season ends and Roland Hall continues on to face Enterprise tomorrow for fifth or sixth place. North Summit, a good season. As they will now be done. Look forward to next year. These five seniors all had good careers and sad to see them go, but still lots of talent upcoming for this Braves team as they have a lot of juniors, a lot of sophomores, and very talented freshmen upcoming. So a good team. Losing some good players, but still a really good team coming back for next year. 
Roland Hall, though, with a, with a talented team, very young. Isaiah Adams, Youssef Salam, Trey Provost, and Boston Ballard. Jack Dishman, I mean, what a good starting five there. And they just really dominated this game after the first quarter when it was so close. They took control in the second half. And can't say anything more than Roland Hall just overpowered North Summit here with a good performance. So stay tuned, coming up after, uh, here, here in about nine minutes actually, is gonna be the semifinal game, first semifinal game for the girls, Enterprise and Beaver going at it. Winner gets to play in the state championship game. So for Carson McKnight, who joined me today, and uh, Zach Swenson, who is also part of our crew, was running one of the cameras. Um, I am Ty Crystal, and thanks for your guys' continuing support of the North Summit Braves basketball team all season long. We appreciate it, they appreciate it, and uh, hopefully you guys can continue to support them. Their season is cut short though, as they will look to next year. And can't wait to see how they do next year. So thanks for tuning in, guys.